Hello, so Max Johnson donated on yesterday's stream, so I'm very grateful to that. Well, I think it might technically be two days ago by the time you see this video, but regardless. He donated on the stream and he asked me, could I review an app? And this app is a radiation detector app, and the logic of it is that it uses your smartphone's camera to look for artefacts that appear due to gamma rays, you know, radi ionising radiation interfering with the camera. So the idea is you pay like three pounds or something, three dollars for the app, and then basically you don't need to insert a Geiger counter into your phone to get to work. So I thought we could test it. Now, I'm going to test this as a layperson would test it, um, because when they actually advise you to test it, I've done all the calibration stuff they recommend, um, which is, you know, like leaving the phone for ten minutes just in a dark room doing nothing. Um, so the sensor knows what it's like in a room with no radiation to get a background kind of calibration. The problem is how they want you to use this app is to use the front camera, like the selfie camera on the phone, and to um, cover that in loads of layers of black tape so no light can get through. Now, most people who want to use an app will not want to cover their cameras up with tape. So what I'm going to do is I've told it to use the rear camera and I've got the phone sitting on the floor. So obviously it can't see any light because the camera's just filming the floor directly underneath it. So no light is getting in that way. Um, so what I'm doing now is basically just running it. So as you can see at the moment, it's doing some things and it's saying it's had three counts so far, but the mean's not been very much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off in a minute let it run for a bit so we can get a bit more of an average. I might actually even just redo the calibration thing again in here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll interview some radium underneath it and we will see if it can actually uh, do its job of using the camera to um, detect ionising radiation. The science is strong. Will the app itself work? That's another matter. So we will see. Right, so I ran the initial calibration again. So what you can see there is um, over 20 minutes, the mean CPM in here was 8. Now, it does say in this that the CPM on this is different than the Geiger counter CPM, because even with Geiger counters, they vary from, you know, like, tube to tube, counter to counter, depending on what tube they're using, the size of the tube and all that. Um, so it does say, you know, don't base the CPM here off of the CPM you see for, um, you know, a Geiger counter. So anyway, it's running now. So what we're going to do is, now it's running, and it said, you know, over 20 minutes there was a mean CPM of, um, what was it, 8, so it's on 9 at the moment. Let's uh, get some bits of radium and uh, see what happens. So, interesting enough, in the post this morning I got these. So, more aircraft dials. So let's stick that there. And what should start happening soon, if this works, is there should start being more and more white flashes on the um, screen. Because obviously those dials are giving off gamma rays near where they are. So hopefully, if it does its job, it will detect that there's radiation there. Because if you had a regular Geiger counter there, that would definitely be picking stuff up. Um, I mean, if I had the phone flat on it, you'd be getting more. But regardless, it should still be registering it. So for example, if I get this guy and put him down there, look. And I'll just need to zoom it out, so you can see both. See, that's um, at quite a high CPM, because obviously it knows that there's radium there. The actual Geiger counter. But, um, this other app should detect it. I mean, like I was saying, the science of how it works is quite strong. It's just more of a fact of, does it work practically enough? If you zoom in there, look, you can see where it's kept a log of all the little white spots it's seen on the screen, which is quite cool. Um, I like this thing, but I don't know how practical it would be compared to just buying one of those little cheap foam Geigers. So, what I'll do there is, um, I'll keep that running there. And, 16 counts. Yeah, so I think it's registering more counts now, isn't it? Which is what you want. But what I might do in a moment is actually just lift the phone up and put it flat down on top of, um... Yeah, let's just try that. I know this might give it a bit more light for a second. There we go. Yeah, see where uh, the counts jumped up massively then? That was actually just simply because the camera saw light on it, because I said I've not taped over the cameras. Um, but yeah, what, what I'll do now is have this flat on that thing, and what it'll do is it'll realise that was an outlier in a moment, because it is quite good at that, realising if you have one huge number, that's an outlier, not a, you know, thing. 
Um, but what it will do in a moment is hopefully where the phone is now flat on the um, you know radium dials, we will start seeing more and more and more white spots appear on here, which is how it's meant to work. So if you see that, you can see that is actually sort of filming live, it just can't see anything. But it will keep the white spots permanently on there um, when they log. So, yeah, I'll leave that running. So again, thank you for the donation, and from what I can understand, I think this works to some degree. But again, if you were buying something for radiological protection, I wouldn't rely on something like this in all honesty. Um... The science is there, don't get me wrong. Um, the idea the idea is quite nice, and it's a nice thing to have in the arsenal, you know, of Geiger's iron chambers, scintillators, spectrographs. It's, you know, it's a, another nice thing to have, a different type of radiation detector. But, yeah, that's a high account per minute, isn't it? 38 compared to what it was getting before. Um, so, yeah, that's very interesting. So, I think this does work, but... Bear in mind, as I said, because you'd have to tape over your phone cameras and stuff like that, I don't think most people would want to do that. But, yeah, like I said, the science of this means it should work. It's just a matter of practicality of it being built into a phone app, I imagine. But, yeah, the, the concept is there. Your phone can detect radiation without any additional things. Um, so what I'm going to do now is stop the camera in about 10 minutes, start filming again, and we'll see if we're much higher than 38. Right, I reset it and let it do sort of a 14 minute average, and as you can see the counts are higher and lower in places. Um, and you can see lots of white specks on the camera. Um, but yeah, so to sum this up for you, it's an interesting tool, but personally I wouldn't ever rely on it to count radiation as far as I'm aware. Because it's on something that's giving off something like 100 microsieverts plus an hour of radiation. And um, actually a lot more than that if you count the beta in as well. So what I'm just going to quickly do to show you is if I get the smart Geiger type one out again. So let's just stop this now. So if I do stop log. Um, do you want to stop log file? Yes. So that's that stopped. So let's close this app now. Then what we're going to do is stick on this the Smart Geiger again, go to the um, Smart Geiger app, I won't bother using Radometer for now, put that in roughly the same place, start that up, and I'm sure you'll see on this that it will immediately start registering higher readings. Yep, there we go. So, um, I know this is only like a three dollar app, and it's an interesting thing, but personally if you're wanting to use your mobile phone to detect radiation, I would just say buy one of those little smart Geiger things or an equivalent company's one and as you can see it's immediately telling you oh that's a bit hot what I've been put on hmm you know whereas I know the other app they say oh don't use this to detect you know dangerous levels of radiation because it's harmful for you and it might damage your camera or your phone or whatever but um yeah there you go in terms of um you know using one of these apps I would say probably get the Geiger counter one for like 20 to 30 dollars um, rather than you know relying on a thing using your camera to have gamma rays hit it. I'm sure it will tell you if something's above and below average radiation it would certainly do that but in terms of being able to quickly and conveniently detect radiation no it's it's not very handy for that but there you go as you can see the um, smart Geiger is um, picking up radiation. I'm sure if I put it round this way the number will go up even faster. Yep, there we go, look. If that's visible in the frame, because obviously the beta radiation is now penetrating it. Yeah, that's going up much faster now. But yeah, there you go. So, to answer your question on this, um, it's an interesting thing, but and thanks for the donation, but I'd only really recommend it as a curiosity thing, not as an actual serious radiation detecting thing.